Hello everyone, my name is Anushka Saxena and in this video we will continue reading class 10 science chapter 1 that is chemical reactions and equations. Let's get into the video. Displacement reaction 1.2.3 Activity 1.9 Take 3 iron nails and clean them by rubbing with sandpaper. Take 2 test tubes marked as A and B. In each test tube, take about 10 ml copper sulfate solution. Tie two iron nails with a thread and immerse them carefully in the copper sulfate solution in test tube B for about 20 minutes. Keep one iron nail aside for comparison. After 20 minutes, take out the iron nails from the copper sulfate solution. Compare the intensity of the blue color of copper sulfate solutions in test tubes A and B. Also, compare the color of the iron nails dipped in the copper sulfate solution with the one kept aside. Why does the iron nail become brownish in color and the blue color of copper sulfate solution fade? The following chemical reaction takes place in this activity. Fe solid plus CuSO4 aqueous that is copper sulfate gives rise to FeSO4 aqueous that is iron sulfate plus Cu solid. In this reaction, iron has displaced or removed another element copper from copper sulfate solution. This reaction is known as displacement reaction. Other examples of displacement reactions are Zn solid plus CuSO4 aqueous that is copper sulfate gives rise to ZnSO4 aqueous that is zinc sulfate plus Cu solid. Pb solid plus CuCl2 aqueous that is copper chloride gives rise to PbCl2 aqueous that is lead chloride plus Cu solid. Zinc and lead are more reactive elements than copper. They displace copper from its compounds. 1.2.4 Double Displacement Reaction Activity 1.10 Take about 3 ml of sodium sulfate solution in a test tube. In another test tube, take about 3 ml of barium chloride solution. Mix the two solutions. What do you observe? You will observe that a white substance which is insoluble in water is formed. This insoluble substance formed is known as a precipitate. Any reaction that produces a precipitate can be called as a precipitation reaction. Na2SO4 aqueous sodium sulfate plus BaCl2 aqueous that is barium chloride gives rise to BaSO4 solid that is barium sulfate plus 2NaCl aqueous that is sodium chloride. What causes this? The white precipitate of BaSO4 is formed by the reaction of SO4 to negative and Ba2 positive. The other product formed is sodium chloride which remains in the solution. Such reactions in which there is an exchange of ions between the reactants are called double displacement reactions. Recall activity 1.2 where you have mixed the solutions of lead nitrate and potassium iodide. Number 1. What was the color of the precipitate formed? Can you name the compound precipitated? Number 2. Write the balanced chemical equation for this reaction. Number 3. Is this also a double displacement reaction? 1.2.5 Oxidation and Reduction Activity 1.11 Heat a china dish containing about 1 gram copper powder. What do you observe? The surface of copper powder becomes coated with black copper oxide. Why has this black substance formed? This is because oxygen is added to copper and copper oxide is formed. Equation is 2Cu plus O2 gives rise to, sorry, gives rise, when heated gives rise to 2CuO. If hydrogen gas is passed over this heated material, CuO, the black coating on the surface turns brown as the reverse reaction takes place and copper is obtained. The equation is CuO plus H2 when heated gives rise to Cu plus H2O. If a substance gains oxygen during a reaction, it is said to be oxidized. If a substance loses oxygen during a reaction, it is said to be reduced. During this reaction, the copper oxide is losing oxygen and is being reduced. The hydrogen is gaining oxygen and is being, is being oxidized. In other words, one reactant gets oxidized while the other gets reduced during a reaction. 
Such reactions are called oxidation reduction reactions or redox reactions. Some other examples of redox reactions are ZnO plus C gives rise to Zn plus CO. MnO2 plus 4HCl gives rise to MnCl plus 2H2O plus Cl2. In reaction, carbon is oxidized to CO and ZnO is reduced to Zn. And in reaction 1.32, HCl is oxidized to Cl2 whereas MnO2 is reduced to MnCl2. From the above examples, we can say that if a substance gains oxygen or loses hydrogen during a reaction, it is oxidized. If a substance loses oxygen or gains hydrogen during a reaction, it is reduced. Recall activity 1.1 where a magnesium ribbon burns with a dazzling flame in air oxygen and changes into a white substance magnesium oxide. Is magnesium being oxidized or reduced in this reaction? The answer to this is it is being oxidized because oxygen is added to it. 1.3 Have you observed the effects of oxid oxidation reactions in everyday life? 1.3.1 Corrosion. You must have observed that iron articles are shiny when new, but get coated with a reddish brown powder when left for some time. This process is commonly known as rusting of iron. Some other metals also get tarnished in this manner. Have you noticed the color of the coating formed on copper and silver? When a metal is attacked by substances around it, such as moisture, acids, etc., it is said to corrode and this process is called corrosion. The black coating on silver and the green coating on copper are other examples of corrosion. Corrosion causes damage to car bodies, bridges, iron railings, ships and to all objects made of, made of metals, especially those of irons. Corrosion of iron is a serious problem. Every year, an enormous amount of money is spent to replace damaged iron. You will learn more about corrosion in Chapter 3. 1.3.2 Rancidity Have you ever tasted or smelled the fat oil containing food materials left for a long time? When fats and oils are oxidized, they become rancid and their smell and taste changes. Usually, substances which prevent oxidation, antioxidants, are added to food containing fats and oil. Keeping food in airtight containers helps to slow down oxida oxidation. Do you know that chips manufacturers usually flush bags of chips with gas such as nitrogen to prevent the chips from getting oxidized? And uh, this is the only reason why there is a lot of hava in Lay's chips. Questions Number 1. Why does the color of copper sulfate solution change when an iron nail is dipped in it? Number 2. Give an example of a double displacement reaction other than the one given in activity 1.10. Number 3. Identify the substances that are oxidized and the substances that are reduced in the following reactions. Number 1. 4Na solid plus O2 gaseous gives rise to 2Na2O solid. And number 2 is CuO solid plus H2 gaseous gives rise to Cu solid plus H2O gas uh, liquid. <laughs> liquid. So here our chapter is completed. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead.